Tim with Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio, and welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by ApplianceVideo.com. Okay, we're on a okay, KitchenAid dishwasher fine. that is uh, dispensing too much rinse aid. Okay, okay. So we're going to bye -bye. Uh, take the front panel off and replace the dispenser assembly. And to do that, we'll begin by opening the door and removing all of the mounting screws. Okay, we're gonna begin removing the mounting screws, their Torx bits. And this will allow us access to the dispenser assembly. Uh, pay attention to the, the size of the screws. Uh, the ones that hold the control panel on on the corners are larger. Uh, than the other mounting screws. Now that all the screws are removed, the front panel is completely loose, so we'll be careful to raise it back up and we'll just lift up and remove the front panel. Uh, be careful the, the, the top portion is still loose. Uh, just take care that it doesn't drop down. Uh, now we have access to the dispenser assembly. Uh, we're going to begin by removing the water seal. and remove the electrical connector. Uh, so now we're going to remove all of the, the mounting bolts and uh, <clears throat> these connect little mounters and remove the dispenser assembly. Okay, if we'll just, uh, we're just gonna remove the, the wiring harness and we'll just press in on the tabs to remove the mounting. And same thing on this side. Now we can get that out of the way. And we'll take a 3 16 socket and remove all the mounting hardware from the dispenser assembly. One more in the middle. With our final mounting bolt released, we'll remove the bracket. And notice where this cover assembly fits on so that we can put it on the new one. Okay, to fully re remove the dispenser, there are two tabs that hold it in. So we'll just Pry those up a little bit and push the dispenser forward. Now we can uh, make sure that the top console is secure. Open the drawer and remove the old dispenser and seal. Uh, we're going to go ahead and clean up this area uh, to make sure that when we install the new dispenser, we have a good seal. Okay, so we're going to turn the radio off if you want. Clean up this area real good, get it nice and dry. And now we can make sure that the seal is properly seated and reinstall the dispenser assembly. Make sure it lines up well and the tabs are in the right spot. And they are. So now we will take our vapor cover. Little 
handsy. Uh, we now have the vapor assembly in the proper spot and we will line up our bracket. Get one of these started. Start tightening them up. going to get them firm so that we can make sure we get a, a good seal throughout before we really tighten them down. And now we can just go back and make sure they're all nice and taut. Install our electrical connector. Make sure it's in there. Put the strain re reliefs back in. Cover our vapor seal. And then we'll check it for leaks and we're all set. So now that we have our dispenser installed and our control panel secured, we're just going to run it through a normal cycle uh, to make sure that we, we don't have any leaks. Thank you for watching another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.